viewers, I hope I find you warm and well as I welcome you all to the Mira newspaper. My name is Peter Marimi coming to you with the news headlines of the week ending 21 July 2022. Government is returning to contour ridges as a way of stopping soil erosion, the Minister of State for Masingo, Ezra Chizamira, has said. He said this at the launch of the Soil and Water Conservation Blitz program at Mbengo Homestead near Mshagashe in the Zumuta district of Masingo on Friday. Nasi Tawia, Nishira Angwa Chakaparu, Gwana President, Yedu Amnangagwa. Kutitichengetizivwiri Makandiwaya. Iwa hako utaka dizi ilicheti. Ganduwa rakareba 100 meters. Roda 3 liters ya dizi. Tunorewa 5 dollars gana 6 dollars. Chivu Town Board Chairperson and Ward 8 Councillor Renmo Mufamba was arrested on Monday for allegedly duping a Harare woman Tsitsi Maseta of her Nissan Navara worth 4,500 US dollars. Silence, Alphias Hove, aged 23, and staying in Rijagosi, Mashingo, was caught smoking dagger behind the magistrate's court on Tuesday this week, where he is doing community service for theft. Zalopiev candidates for the party's 2018 Chikomba Central Primary Elections, Alfred Petzisa, donated a broken down ambulance which has become an ISO at Onyetu Clinic in Ward 22 of Chikomba. Petzisa handed over the ambulance registration number AAF1421 at a function in 2018, but it has not moved an inch since then. Ndarama High School Development Association Chair Ray Muzenda, who served in that capacity for 18 years, three of them without elections, has gone to the High Court in a bid to block fresh elections, which are supposed to be held on July 30, 2022. Mutare City Council will embark on a polio vaccination campaign from 28 to 31 July 2022 in light of an outbreak of the disease that has been reported in Mozambique and Malawi, the local authority spokesperson, Spren Mutiwi, has said. A 16-year-old boy from Shurugi has been remanded in prison after he allegedly struck and killed an 18-year-old schoolmate with a stone. The deceased is Donald Gazi of village 10 Zuma in Shurugi North. Chimanimani Rural District Council has resolved to repossess 191 housing and business stands after the beneficiaries failed to develop them over a period of 15 years. The resolution came during the local authorities' full council meeting held in the council boardroom on Thursday last week. A man from Berengwa who was out on bail for rape has been remanded in prison after he came back to court on Tuesday on a fresh attempted murder charge. Derera Mdire allegedly stabbed innocent Chauke several times in the head with a knife after the latter asked for his money. The head of Duma, one of the leading primary schools in Pikita, Taurai Albert Mbere, has retired. Membere has served as the head of Duma since 2001. He termed the school into an academic powerhouse that dominated grade 7 results for Pikita district from then. Chief Neshangwe, born Elisha Marufuda, aged 94, is no more. He died on July 2, 2022, at his homestead in Dangwa village, Sadza. 
Dangwa was buried in the early hours of Friday last week. He died of diabetes and gastric ulcers and also suffered from dementia. Jameson Sinamai from Arashanye village under Chief Charumbira in Masringo opened ghastly wounds on the backs of several of his neighbor's head of cattle after he found them grazing in his crop. He appeared before Masringo magistrate at a Thai square Slaigwana last week. Mberengwa's longest serving and Ward 15 councillor, Rava Singadi Jo, who served for 28 years from 1994, is no more. He died on Tuesday at his homestead under Chief Mposi's area, Mataga, where he was then laid to rest yesterday. The Premier Services Medical Aid Society, PISMAS, is having problems with its landlord in Chiredi, where the latter is seeking the society's eviction from an old mutual building. A statement from PISMAS said the challenges have been caused by the working capital gap that continues to widen and manifest in payment areas. Simbarashe Gengeja, a butter shoe company employee, is the winner of the 2022 Zimbabwe Prisons and Correctional Services Commissioner General's Goodwill Trust Fund Golf Fundraising Tournament. The tournament was held at Gweru Golf Club in Gweru on Saturday. The Mushaya Munda tournament is back after a two-year COVID-19 induced hiatus and kicks off today with 31 schools drawn from Bikita, Zaka and Chirezi competing in netball, volleyball and soccer. The finals are slated for July 22, 2022 at Tapuzai Primary School in Zaka. For these and more news in detail, please do visit the Mira website displayed on your screen. From me, Peter Maremi, and the crew behind the scenes, have a nice weekend.